The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, three, we have ignition, two, one, zero. We have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine ignites to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 81 seconds. At 91 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. Approaching booster engine cutoff, the Atlas V is burning propellant at a rate of 1,600 pounds per second, traveling at over 10,900 miles per hour and located 63 miles in altitude and 144 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs four minutes, three seconds after liftoff. The booster stage is jettisoned six seconds later. 10 seconds after booster separation, the first Centaur main engine start takes place. The payload fairing is jettisoned eight seconds later. The vehicle now weighs just 8% of what it did at liftoff four and a half minutes earlier. Cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs just over 15 minutes after launch. The mission now enters a 10 minute coast phase. At nearly 25 minutes, the Centaur main engine is restarted. This burn will last just over three minutes. Following the second Centaur main engine cutoff at 28 minutes, 38 seconds, the mission enters a final 15-minute coast phase. At 43 minutes, 48 seconds, Centaur releases the third Sibbers Geo Satellite for the United States Air Force, providing early missile warning detection.